Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Grand National Roadster Show, and uh, they had this custom truck from, I'm guessing, probably the 70s, and it's called Red Fox's Little Red Wrecker. Yeah, it's a mouthful. You know, you remember Sanford and Son, Red Fox, right? So anyways, I thought it was cool. I thought y'all would want to see it. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Looks good sitting under the lights like that. Cool car for sure. Yeah. Upon some research, there's some real controversy behind this build. Although it's claimed, and it's even claimed in that placard there that George Barris built this car, he did not, from what I see. A man named Dick Dean and Ed Newton built it back in 1970. And then in like 74, George got a hold of it and did a makeover on it, basically changing some colors and toured it with Red Fox and Sanford and so And the idea was is that Fred, Fred, uh, yeah, Fred Sanford, <laughs> Red Fox, liked to uh, collect cars, and this is what he went out and towed them with. I don't know that that ever happened, but that was the theme or the, you know, story behind the hot rod. But isn't that interesting? Cool, though. Whatever the real deal is on that, I don't know. I was around, but I wasn't, and um, so I have no idea. I thought it was interesting, though. It's got a hydraulic gas pedal. I dig it. I like the colors of it. I like the concept of it. I like the tilted cab on it. I think that is awesome. And I know that's like really dated for 1970, but for whatever reason, it's just the right color that really pops with the rest of the build. And the, other, the rest of the build's so outrageous that, you know, you just gotta kinda go with it. It's got a sky roof, I like that. I dig it. 30 coats of candy, red paint over Summer Gleam Platinum underbase. How about that for giving you some information? I don't know what the color code is, so don't ask. Me! Maybe ask the people at Galpin that I'm guessing have redone the car, or maybe they just bought it. I didn't dig that deep into it. To be honest with you, once I found out about the controversy with George and Dick and Ed and all, um, my mind was kind of blown. So, I don't know. Again, I don't know what the truth is behind that, but um, at the end of the day, it's a cool car, and I'm glad that it was at the uh, 2020 Grand National Roadster Show for me to show it a little, shoot a little video on. Look at all that chrome, and look at the way that thing side mounts. I don't know. If that'll work or not, I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, looks like it would. I don't know that that's the most efficient way to do it, but, you know, it's a hot rod, so it's all about aesthetics. It's not about efficiency. It's not even about function. It's just about cool, right? Yeah. 392 small block Hemi up there. We'll take a closer look at that. I was just trying to give you a good look at all this rigging and how it actually worked. It's kind of the part of the dream rods of the 70s. Cool stuff. I really dig it. I'm a big fan. Just so over the top and, you know, no, it, it may not work, but at the end of the day, look how cool it looks. Kind of crush velour material. It's all really nice work. Whoever did it took a concept and turned it into a very cool display piece, if nothing else. And I was a fan of Sanford and Son. Who couldn't be? Elizabeth, <laughs> I'm coming to join you. And I felt that in the last year. There's the information there. So there you go from the 2020 Grand National Roadster Show, Red Fox's Little Red 
Wrecker. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.